call these ones? Marine iguana, because this is the only sea-going lizard in the world. There is nowhere else in the world a lizard that goes in the salt water and the ocean to eat algae. So that's the food for them. They eat little tiny algae. The ones you saw yesterday at the Charles Darwin Research Station, they were land iguanas. That's why they were different colors. There are only two species.
how nature goes on in the cycle. We ask humans. Usually in other places where we are, the animals are nervous. They are trying to go away. They are trying to protect themselves. But here they just ignore us. They keep going. Keep going. That's a big wave coming. That's a little one.
couple on the back are displaying really good. 
difference in the male and the female in the blue footed boobies also like the Nazca boobies only the male whistles and the female quacks but also the female is bigger than the male and you can have a third difference is in the eyes the pupil is the black spot in the eye the female has more pigment pigmentation around the eye This is called the sky pointing. So when it goes, this is to get female attention. This displaying of the albatrosses is not common because they come to Galapa to nest from April to December. So usually you see them displaying in April, May. So why are they displaying now? This is only to reinforce the relationship. Albatrosses, they stay together with the same mate for the whole life. But after they fertilize the egg, those displays don't end up displaying, but they don't come. Well, that's why we don't see very frequent in this time of the year. Yeah, there is one lane sitting there. Is there two of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the other one was on the back. The third step in the high level of the display is when they crack the beaks by themselves going a -ra 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 -ra. Did you hear that? That means a serious one. So usually it's only beaks going a little bit like this. And then the second step is when they put the head up and then open the beaks and then down again. Head up, up and down. And the third one is when they do the cranky noise with the beaks. Boobies also they nest in April for some reasons we call peaks. This one in November starts at some of boobies coming here. It's a huge colon here. They nest in April, May, June. Now we have maybe just one twenty percent of what usually they nest in here. And for some reason they are coming now to start the display in November, December. So that's why unusual. April, May, those, those are the best two months. And in the whole Galapagos, only in this place they are trying to reproduce in this time of the year. In the whole visitor site, so you can imagine. That's why I said it's not a thing that you are going to see. That beautiful. That's the difference in the pupil. That's something that as human beings we should learn. Some people do very well. Displaying for some reasons doesn't go on so well. One of the mates just takes off and goes. She cool, he or she cools down a little bit and then comes back again. In this case, he made it. Did you see it? They were there and things were not working so good. He took off and came back after a few minutes and she's very nice and sweet again. little tricks that they take or little tools. This is part of the courtship to be more attractive. It's like you giving flowers to your girlfriend or boyfriend or husband. Look at that. It's a mother in nature to make it jealous. That's very normal. It's not only human beings thing. So usually the female goes to make a stay is playing with other ones until the male gets jealous and they starts a big competition. That means they are together, they are going to stay. Female picks males and the one that is the best doing the display, she stays with that one. 
She wanna stay with the first one she meets. It's just a lot of things going on, how nice he displays, how beautiful are the color of his feet and so on. Do you know how it's called that? This is called sexual selection. Sexual selection is really important in nature. Have you ever heard about survival of the fittest? No. Survival of the fittest means the strongest one survives. But as human beings we think the strongest one is who's bigger and strong. That's not true. The strongest means how many offsprings you can guarantee for the next generation. So if you are big and strong, but you are no good finding mates, you are not a good survivor of the fittest. So in nature, it's really important to choose the right mate and to have babies, because that is going to procreate, and that is going to keep the species and populations. So that is survival of the fittest, to find right mates and procreate, and mate and just make grow the population. So that's why birds in all over the world, you have seen, you have heard in TV, whatever, how they spend so much time dancing, displaying with such a beautiful colors. What means colors in nature? Do you think the parents like to see the blue bit? Because it's beautiful? It's not really. Colors in nature is a meaning of health. Healthier ones have more colors. So that makes to choose right mate. So the healthier ones with the bright colors, females are going to pick those ones sooner, faster, because they're going to be more successful.
Everybody's waiting for the show. <laughs> Kim Perk. Makin Perk. Kalapakos Makin Perk. That's another big male on the back here.
welcome, but it's uh, occasional visitors. They don't leave here, they come every once in a while. So that one is the last of the spot. Yo, yo, let you pass. Oh.